Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Metal Gear Rise. And you're here with Morris, and at the end, last part, new, new, new. We were just about to customize uh, Raiden's body for the first time. There's only a few things that I really need, to be honest. Uh, let's 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 go with this. Let's see what we got here. Might as well give a cheeky upgrade to this, you know, because they're cheap. You got to get those. Unique weapon. We'll leave those forever because I don't really like to get them, to be honest. They're very situational, and there aren't many situations on normal where you need them, so... In fact, there are no situations on normal where you need them. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, what do we need? Aerial parry, definitely. Defensive offense, definitely. Do I have the uh, the sort of diving kick thing yet? I don't have that unlocked. Um, you know what? I could just buy everything. Wait, that's it. There we go. Falling lightning, that's what I need. I guess I'll take that. You know what? Let's just buy everything. What's 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 the point? <laughs> I got the points. I might as well get everything. Even though I don't use half of it, but still, it's it's all good. Alrighty. Yes. Exit. Good. I'm happy with that. Alrighty. So now we're moving on to chapter two. Guys lined up, right? Maybe. Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> couldn't have just gone with the suit again. ASAP. The Hopefully suit was working, right? It was working. <laughs> you sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bone. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. The perfect disguise. Why didn't I give Blade Wolf a hat? Then they'd never suspect anything. You know it worked. <laughs> Where did my poncho go? <laughs> it's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission. I'm in the giant the sewer system. research center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking, allegedly anyway. <laughs> this just gets better and better. If anyone asks, I'm just taking the dog for a walk. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. There's something back No problem. <laughs> Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what oh, kind of invisible wall doing there? Invisible wall. Not really. Invisible wall Maybe around Blade Wolf for some reason. <laughs> like experimentation? It's possible. First things first though. Find a way into that lab. Oh right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers, so you know, uh, watch out. Black Are they black crocodiles? cyborg crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. 
I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Gee, thanks. We're a team, Wolf. Don't you run away. Yeah, I don't think there's anything down there. No. Right. Alrighty, let's move on. UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. Ah, UGs are no match for me. I do like the uh, the enemy progression in this. You know, the first level is really it really does ease you in. Like I mentioned about the geckos, you know, you're expected to be able to beat those. Those are lesser enemies, but this, you know, it throws in some some pretty sweet looking enemies to be honest. These used to be my least favorite, just because I had no idea how to really face them at all. <laughs> But I guess once you know their moveset, it's it's a little easy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, get off of me. I don't like the amount of unblockable moves they have, to be honest. But once you get a few of those just defends in, you're all good, baby. Boom! Yeah, yeah! Easy. Alrighty, let's move. Am I going back the wrong way? <laughs> Good start. Just check for any uh, cheeky items. The amount of times I've gone through this game and just skipped the items these days because I've already picked everything up that I need. So if I miss something, I apologize in advance. But I mean, we should be good. We should be good. Oh, what? Oh, God. I didn't think that guy would see me. Did he hear the water or something? Oh, not tonight. Boom. Kablamo. Oh, who needs a camera angle? <laughs> Honestly, that's... I mean, that... That's tame compared to where it, it sometimes ends up. Honestly, you can just you can just be looking at a wall sometimes, you know. Is there any items through here? I know it's a VR mission, but VR. That's far more effective than live exercise, is it, Raiden? Is VR better than this? I don't think so. VR's changed, man. I mentioned it before, but you know what the difference is between. Um, you know, another reason why I hate, basically, the VR missions in this game is, um... Yeah, 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 boy in the sewers, whatever. Is the one, if you, if you cast your mind back to MGS, MGS 1, definitely, the VR missions, there weren't many of them, and they were basically, you know, here's, here's a few scenarios where, that, that will come up in the game. And maybe, you know, you want to practice those scenarios. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You don't have to, but whatever. It's there if you need it, and that's fine, you know, it taught you about the game, it taught you about things that happen in the game, but the VR missions in here don't do that at all. They just, they're like, hey, here's a bunch of stupid shit which will never happen. You'll have to literally inhibit yourself intentionally for no reason for this situation to happen. Now see if you can beat it. You know, there's just no point. And that's why they annoy me. It's just a pointless challenge, and I, I, I do not like that. Come on, dwarf geckos, you're, you're never going to be able to touch them. Actually, this, just running around and hitting square, they can pretty much never even touch you. Yeah. But yeah, anybody, um... Only people who are bothered about the trophies, I think, are bothered about the VR missions. Like, getting third, just finishing them is hard enough sometimes, rather than getting first place. Oh god. Oh yeah, I don't really like fighting these things. It's crazy how they just throw three at you, you know? But somehow you don't mind. <laughs> oh, 
We need Bart Simpson. Get out of here. Oh. It's kind of annoying that they kind of um, move away when you get the just defend in, so unless you're near a wall, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't really work as well. That's another thing to remember as well when you're uh, fighting these, is they actually count as two enemies because of the dwarf geckos inside them. Sometimes you can you can forget that, you know. Oh, and they can just catch you unawares. Oh god, frame rate disappearing. Oh, not tonight. That was a nice one. That was a nice one. That was beautiful. No damage, baby. Right? That was no damage, wasn't it? Oh, I must have just got caught by... Um, oh, still an S-Rank. I must have just got caught by the uh, machine gun fire, I think. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. My name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. AKA George Sears. AKA Solidus. <laughs> just in case. You missed that. I missed that the first time. Damn Skonta research lab. You know about it? Me know, me know Just about speak it. English, kid. Hey, you're not one of them scunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. Maybe riding cyborg vision has some like translator in it. You know who they So the the stuff in brackets actually appears before his eyes. Well, maybe live on the street. They can skip above, nah? Then this good me dressed like the mafia say, "Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah?" They pack us all pick up a dirty container. Next thing we know, we're here at the Jumbi Lab. All kids like you? Yeah, a lot of why. But then we've been over here. What them scunt wanna do? Snuff us out and got all day all game. So you ran? Uh huh. It's shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man, same as you. Ha! Me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Okay, you can't just make up words. <laughs> it's not even translation now. It's just a different word altogether. <laughs> no, never. Good. You tried to warn the boy. I say, I would his brain will get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight. But there's some super kind of tight. Next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting. You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. Will do. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. 
It's kind of a more adult theme than previous MGS, MG, well, Metal Gear games. Harvesting child organs, you know, it's kind of a step up, really. <laughs> anyway, I am going to have to pause it for now, guys. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. Thanks. going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? Thanks. I'm going to have to pause it for now, guys, but thank you very much for watching this episode of Metal Gear Rising, and I hope to see you in the next one, guys. I will see you in a bit. See you later. Disengage.